Yeah, I thought um, a very entertaining game, you know, chances both sides. Uh, and we had a couple of decisions go against us. Uh, we had a couple of one-on-ones that could have gone the other way, which would have been nice. But um, on the whole, you know, I'd draw probably just about a fair result. I think there's a, the penalty in there, an incident that I've not really seen, but I've been told it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite in favour of, uh, of QPR. But you don't get them sometimes. Hopefully we'll get them down the line in the next three games. But um, no, we didn't get beat off a team that's... You know, pushing for the playoffs. So uh, I think it's a good result in the end of the day. But we do need more points and all that. And, uh, and we've got to make sure we keep playing the same endeavour, the same attitude. Boys have given me absolutely everything, and that's all I can ask for. Tim, uh, back in the squad today, what did you make of his performance? Yeah, Tim did well. You know, he's only trained two days. Um, and, and that's been an issue here, you know, getting players fit and getting them up to match speed. Um, it's been all season, it's not just me, you know, I know the previous manager was really irritated by that um, and things need changing on, on that front, you know, we, we really need to make sure these boys are more robust, ro- robust and fitter, um, but again, he, uh, he, he gave everything, you know, he really did and, uh, and I think that he was unlucky not to score, he was unlucky uh, not to be able to get his shot off in the first half when he got dragged back in the box as well, you know, I think his next action is a shot at goal, so I can't understand why uh, it's not classed as a goal scoring opportunity, but again, you know, I wouldn't like to be the referee, they don't get everything right. And um, towards the end of the first half, there was a moment with Aaron Drew and Isaac Hayden where he goes into a challenge quite strongly. Uh, what did you make of that? It seemed quite incensed on the sidelines. Very, very nasty challenge on Aaron, very late, and, uh, and I thought it was, uh, it was missed by the referee, but again, I don't, uh, I don't have the whistle in my mouth, and uh, if I did, I'd probably get a few things wrong as well, so, but I was incensed because uh, the young boy was, uh, was, was laid out there, he's got a nasty, uh, nasty gash on his leg. And um, Chris Willock left on the bench uh, this week, was there any reason for that? Or? Uh, yeah, my, my decision. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is there any injury there or is, he, or is that just tactical? Oh, Chris, Chris needs to get uh, fitter, definitely, he knows that as well. And, uh, and at the moment, with the intensity that was playing out, I think it, was, uh, it probably would have been wrong to introduce him. Jay Clark, uh, sort of back, back in the Back in the starting eleven today, I think it was the first game since since February, but, but obviously forced off after after about an hour. How is he? Is that is that is that just precautionary, or, or, or is that you know a, a recurrence of an injury? What, no, what's up with him? He's been out for a long time again. Jake's only played um, I think five days training. Jake, you know, so um, this is what I've got to do with a team that's conceded a, a lot of goals. You know, you try and find your best formation, your best defenders, and. Uh, and Jake's been uh, obviously a, a, a good player earlier in the season with a good record and I wanted to see if I could get him in the team as quick as possible but um, I don't think there's anything serious to go on with him. I think we're, uh, we're going to be okay and uh, hopefully he'll recover for Burnley but um, if not then the two after that. Sure and, and coming off uh, you know, a spirited sort of point against a, as you say, a, a team sort of chasing the playoffs, is it a bit gutting for, for the for the guys in the changing room to then come and see that you know Cardiff get a win, Reading get a result? Uh, it's obviously, yeah, we prefer those teams not to get results, but it's in our hands, and that's what we've been saying to the boys all along. You know, and I think it's going to go, uh, it's going to go to the wire without a doubt this season. Um, it's always looking like it's going to be. There's about five or six teams all, all you know, concertinaed up at the bottom of the league there, and uh, we're going to try our best to get as many points as we can to try and get out of this. Jordan. Just a final one for me. Then it seemed like you know that, that early goal was, was really important for you guys in, in, in the way it sort of got got Loftus Road really behind you. I think it's just one more game that that final game of the season back here against Bristol City. How important is it? Is it that you, you know you, you you have a packed out Loftus Road for that game, given that it, it could end up being the decisive one? Listen, I'd love it to be absolutely packed out. We keep our fans getting behind us. You know the boys give everything, and I thought the fans were great today. I thought they really were. You know. Um, they know what's going on. I think. I think there's a lot of educated people in our fan base, and uh, and they know exactly what's uh, what's been going on here. And uh, and I think that they really got behind the boys today. At the end, they clapped them all off. Boys were shattered. The good thing was they all went down thinking uh, they could have and should have won that game, maybe, which was uh, which was a good sign for me, you know, rather than trudging off thinking we've been firmly beaten there, which has happened too many times here. So. I'm uh, pleased with the uh, fans' reaction today and, uh, and getting behind the boys, so thank you to them. Any further questions? Just quickly, um, uh, that's seven games without a win. Um, I was wondering, how, how is the dressing room at this moment? Do they feel that something's still tangible from the rest of the season? Do they still feel they can stay up? Or? Of course they do, yeah. 
Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, they, uh, they, they feel this is there because we're not even below the line, you know, and, uh, and that's that's important. But there may be a, an instant where we go behind and we have nothing to lose, we get out of that, you know. There's going to be a lot of twists and turns this season, but now the boys know exactly where they've been sliding for quite a while now, you know, and it's, uh, it's trying to address that slide now and, uh, and stop the rot, you know, and, and that's that's a point today, a good point against a good team, you know, and, uh, and if we can get another good point against a good team on Saturday, I think we can uh, we can get more than that against the last two. But believe me, I'll be going to win that game on Saturday and trying to spoil the party that Burnley are trying to prepare for their championship celebrations, you know. So we've got a, we've got extra incentive to go out there and try and be uh, try and be party poopers. Yeah, just finally, I just sorry, just finally on the on the goal you guys conceded. Does this miss in terms of the way you guys defend, especially coming out? From halves or the beginning of the games or the beginning of the second half, does that concern you? Is that something you've identified yourself or? Uh, I think we've conceded goals in, in most periods of the game this season. It's not, it's not one, it's not one portion. You know, you look at the goals we've conceded. Um, there's been lots in in every every quarter of every half. Believe me. So there's uh, there's no rhyme or reason. Sometimes it's um, it's something we've got to work on. We're trying to work on. Uh, there's only so many hours in the day. And, only so much running they can do in training, but um, believe me, we had a couple of af we've had an afternoon session this week, um, which is something that they haven't done for quite a while. But um, trying uh, trying all I can to, to make this a solid outfit, threatening at the other end as well. I thought Lyndon's goal was was really good, and uh, we could have had one or two more, which is encouraging.